Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing another new cable in my long list in my arsenal in order to provide you the most stable system possible. Ever since I've released my Ethernet Smooth Step or Turnkey solution, I've had many questions from potential clients on um, what cable is best suited for Ethernet based controllers. Now, of course, there's this myth online, and I don't know exactly where it started, whether it be forums or just general conversation, that uh, Ethernet-based controllers are impervious to electromagnetic interference, which is simply not the case. As a matter of fact, if you go on Warp 9's website and review the Ethernet Smooth Stepper, they do discuss the possibility for electromagnetic interference and electrical noise. Um, that being said, the cable to be used with a, a Warp 9 ESS uh, or a CNC drive version, uh, which would be their UC300 or UC400, or for that matter, even Centroid's new Acorn. I know that unit comes bundled with the patch cord, but it's nowhere near the quality it should be for what you're actually controlling. Because let's just keep in mind that all of the signals that are keeping your system stable are passing through this cable. Okay, and that's where more and more of you are realizing after you find my channel, if you're going through this kind of problem, you find my channel and you realize, you know what, everything is basically in the cables and it's very true, it is, because that's where all your signals are passing through. So that being said, here's my design. We got a CAT7 double shielded cable. It's got 10 gig of data transfer at 600 megahertz. Um, the unit does have a 50 micron gold plated uh, plug in. I'm going to take it out of the bag in a second and it is double shielded. So again, we're dealing with our tin braided copper. We're dealing with our aluminum mylar foil. Uh, this is a bulletproof cable all the way around. You can see how everything, see if I can just get it to zoom in there. There you go. You can see how everything is actually broken down. Um, these cables, when you're using the right cable, it's basically a plug and play type thing as far as fire and forget. You don't have to worry about, you know, how the system is set up because Ethernet is essentially uh, the most stable option. But once again, it's only the most stable option when you're using all of the right accessories. And some of the manufacturers, of course, don't disclose, actually most of the manufacturers don't disclose what cables to use. Again, there's your gold-plated end. We've got our snagless boot. Okay, this, these cables come in 10-foot standard length. They're selling for a little over nine bucks, shipped. Um, I tried to keep everything well, well within everybody's budget, but I'm telling you right now, this cable should be used basically on every system that is running um, an Ethernet-based controller with good reason. Okay, now that being said, I also get questions on, can I use these cables? I get this question a lot. Can I use these type of patch cords on uh, my general router for my business? Yes. If you're losing internet connection, if you're noticing weird things happening with your internet connection, using a double shielded cable, of course, is going to once again introduce a bulletproof type connection because again, we've got that double Faraday cage effect around the leads and you're definitely gonna see a performance increase as far as stability. So if anything weird is happening and you notice, and again, everybody's house or office or shop is different, these are the cables to definitely use when you're looking for maximum stability. I cannot emphasize that enough. I mean, there, uh, there used to be this, this thing, I think, when I first started the channel that, you know, cables are gimmicks. They're really not, guys. I mean, the cables are essential for smooth operation. Now, of course, when you buy my ESS turnkey solution, these cables come bundled with its stock. Um, I will not sell that unit without the required accessories because then you guys are basically going backwards. Okay, I know that typically when you buy the ESS or another Ethernet based controller, they do not come with the cables other than the Acorn from Centroid. Um, but again, if they're including the wrong cable, that's doing you no justice either. So uh, again, buy the right cable and I know you guys will definitely be happy with the performance of the unit because they are amazing once they're set properly. Um, I will be putting a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, once again, if you guys have questions or require quotes, let me just put this back in the bag. You can message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. Now, of course, that is my that is my personal email. I get asked that question all the time. I check it all the time. If you can't get me there because, again, the shop gets busy, you can always message me at eDealers Direct. That's my eBay store. Once again, both of these links I'll put in the description so you guys will have that. To my subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Once again, guys, I love you, and I'll keep the videos coming. Thank you again. Take care.